priesthood and the sacrifices they made, the Bible said all that they offered, bulls, golds, no matter the number or the quality, the Bible told us it was not sufficient to take away sins. Therefore, they were inferior to the sacrifice of Jesus. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. This is what makes Jesus superior. This is the foundation of it. Moses has no comparison with Jesus. Adam has no comparison with Jesus. Abraham has no comparison. Noah has no comparison. Methuselah, you named it Enoch, Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah, you named all the prophets, all the Levitical uh, uh, priesthood, all the, the priests. None of them has comparison with Jesus. How do you compare somebody who is living on a minimum wage to somebody who is worth a trillion dollars? It doesn't even make sense. Adam and through the whole Bible, anybody you can name is inferior to Jesus. They are all on minimum wage compared to Jesus, who is not just valued at a trillion, but trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars. When your mind becomes open to the greatness and the superiority of Jesus in this dimension, when you call upon his name, principalities and powers, well, they have to respond to you because they know who you are talking about. The Bible told us in Colossians, it says, For through him and for him were all things created. He is not a prophet. The Muslims refer to Jesus as just a prophet. And when you understand why they call him a prophet, you will no longer just accept it. It is an insult to call Jesus a prophet. Reflect on the understanding of the one who called Jesus a prophet. Can you call Jesus? Jesus, the creator, the son of God, a prophet. It means you don't know who you are dealing with. It's like passing a man on the street who is valued a trillion dollars and you consider him to be a beggar on the street. It is an insult. Jesus is no prophet. He is the son of God. The Bible said all things in heaven, on earth, and underneath were created by him, through him, and for him. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. And one of my favorite songs during the Christmas season is that song that says, Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Do you see what the word of God is telling us about the superiority of Jesus? He is the uncreated creator. He is the I am that I am. The one from before the foundation of the world. Friends, when you come to begin to understand the superiority of Jesus Christ, you will not make room for another. Jesus did not make room for Muhammad. He did not make room for Scientology. He did not make room for any other one. Jesus made a claim that is so bold, that is so tight, that is so exclusive. He locked the door and left no room for nobody. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It said what I am the only way. Moses was a great prophet. Aaron was a great high priest. Elijah, Elisha, Samuel, David the king. You name them. They were all great men. But all of them put or combined. They are inferior to Jesus. In that account, Jesus was claiming that he was superior to David. Though he came through the lineage of David. Though he came through the lineage of Abraham. This is not my idea. You know it. We have the greater one. His name is excellent. His name is glorious. He wants this generation to come to recognize the preeminence of his authority, the dominion, and the infiniteness of his person. He existed before the foundation of the world. It is the work of the devil through new age philosophy and all that spiritual means to deceive people and blind people and take them out of the will of God. 
the one who died for you is Jesus Christ. There is no Savior in Muslim or Allah. 